Alright, hello guys, and today we are going to be getting into our official and final spring forecast for 2019. This will be from the 1st of March all the way through the end of May. That's meteorological spring. And we're going to be looking at our temperature forecast to begin with. But before I get into that, please subscribe if you haven't already. I do lots of forecasts like this, and I have a lot of plans for spring and summer as far as severe weather goes, hurricane season, and all sorts of different forecasts, weekly forecasts, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts. I will consistently keep those uh, coming up for you guys. So please subscribe if that interests you at all. Uh, and I greatly appreciate all the subscribers I've gained over the last year. Anyway, let's get right into it. We're going to be seeing slightly above average temperatures for the west coast of the United States, California, Arizona, portions of Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Washington State, and Oregon. All these areas will have slightly above average temperatures, as well as the east coast from Louisiana, all the Gulf states, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, mountains of Tennessee, portions of eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, eastern Ohio, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. I expect us to be warm because I expect a lot of Gulf moisture to head up the east coast with some warm fronts, some low pressure systems cutting inland, uh, a lot of stationary fronts setting up. I think that a lot of uh, storms coming from the south and a lot of warm days like that. We've seen these in past springs. It's very typical, but I expect some above average amounts of that type of activity going on. Now, we will be seeing below average temperatures for the central United States from Texas all the way up and through Oklahoma, portions of New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and portions of Minnesota as well. And then we see kind of our darker shade of blue there for Nebraska, Iowa, northern Missouri, Minnesota, the Dakotas, uh, portions of eastern Montana and northeastern Wyoming as well in those below average temperatures. That's where we see a little bit of a bigger chance for below average temperatures as I expect at least through April, early April winter to kind of continue for you guys. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you probably want it to warm up by now as it's been cold for months now, obviously, but uh, I expect that we will kind of see that uh, stick around for um, at least another month or month and a half. So that'll lead to some below average temperatures overall, no matter what it does in the second half of spring. Uh, we will be seeing colder conditions there for the beginning portion of spring, and that'll likely swing it into the direction of below average temperatures overall. Here's your precipitation forecast. You can see not a lot going on here. It's kind of harder to predict uh, precipitation in the spring and summer months, so we kind of keep it uh, pretty broad using the lower shades of coloring because uh, there's a lot of thunderstorm activity going on, a lot of isolated type events. It's, it's a little bit more hard to predict, obviously, because one thunderstorm can make your county uh, go above average precipitation, even if you're in the below average precipitation area. Think of that. I mean, you, you receive uh, five inches from one thunderstorm, there you go, you've reached your average, no matter where you are. So it's, it's really more of an isolated uh, time frame here. Uh, but we do expect above average thunderstorm activity in this green area, this lighter shade of green, and that should lead to most areas being above average precipitation, at least slightly. And then in our drier area, we expect a little bit less activity there for Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Also portions of uh, eastern Kansas and Nebraska getting involved there a little bit on that below average precipitation. Everywhere else, your equal chances. Now here's your severe weather forecast and you can see we this is where we're expecting above average severe weather uh, from the southeastern tip of Wyoming into eastern Colorado, southern Nebraska, western and southern Ka Kansas, Oklahoma, northern Texas, Arkansas, southern Missouri, southern Illinois, uh, and then some western portions of Tennessee, Kentucky, northern Alabama, and northern Mississippi. Now here's your overall forecast for the entire season here. Um, I'm bringing this one back. I, I used to not do these for quite a while. I think it's been a couple months since I've done some overall forecasts, but I'm going to bring this back for the summertime or the springtime here. We see warmer than normal there for the West Coast, obviously, and the Northeastern United States. Lots of Gulf moisture there for the Southeastern and Gulf states of the United States. All your gray areas, by the way, are kind of going to be more average conditions expected. That red area, we're looking for above average severe weather in that area, as I just showed you that. Uh, and in your purple section, we will see winter continues, multiple cold shots. This is where I expect winter to continue, at least through the first half of April. And then we have our more dry than normal section there, again, for Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, and areas like that. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you subscribe, you will be receiving more content like this throughout the spring and summer months. And again, into fall and winter, just like I did last year, we will be kind of redoing everything. Winter forecasts will be up eventually, uh, just as I did in 2018. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.